Hello, Dave. Kenny, nice to see you again. Nice to see you again. It's been too. a while, yeah. 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 So, uh, tell us about your bass. You got this uh, like end of January. Yeah. Well, like many professional musicians, I have a handful of instruments, and at one point I realized I wanted a really great high-end jazz bass five-string. Right. And I, you know, like many people, ask around. Travis Carlton, some friends of mine said, yeah, look into exotic. So I uh, came over and played this thing and fell immediately in love. It sounds great. Uh, it's the prototype, I guess, version, which is a little bit lighter. Apparently, I was told to thinner. shave the body a little bit by an eighth of an inch or something yeah, like that. very little. Um, and one of my concerns right off the top was, is it going to hang right uh, because of the lightweight? I guess this is aluminum bridge, yeah. and that also shaved off some weight. And so that was one of my concerns, but boy, it just hangs perfectly. It, it, it's very comfortable, and uh, the weight is spectacular, under nine pounds, eight and a half pounds yeah, or something. Yeah, so um, it, just, it just hangs and feels beautifully, which wouldn't matter one bit of, to me, truthfully, if it didn't sound great. Right. Because... Uh, that's not the primary issue. The primary issue is does it feel and sound great? And this bass absolutely does. I mean, it's without a doubt, uh, you know, a, a spectacular five-string cool. jazz bass kind of a thing. The low B yeah. still rumbling nice. Yeah, that was another concern, truthfully, because I have some 35 scale basses that have just great B strings. So, and this is a 34 bass, like a jazz bass. Mm -hmm. And I was a little concerned that maybe that was going to be an issue, but as it turns out, it's not. The B string is spectacular. Uh, no dead spot anywhere on it. No, the the neck the neck is true, and everything is clear and present, and it sings, and it's absolutely great. How is it in the studio? Is it a couple three four engineers have said to me, "Wow, what is that?" Because they didn't know. Mm. Unfamiliar with the company, right. sure. and they were both uh, two or three of them were just like, "Wow, that is just so balanced, low to high. It speaks pretty evenly." Records like a dream. Absolutely beautiful. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. absolutely beautiful. How do you think of the preamps? Do you ever mess around with it? Well, again, since I'm sort of the old school uh, uh, of passive bass guy, I never really was into radical EQing. Sure. This preamp does um, everything a great preamp was doing. First of all, it's very quiet. It's got the HRI in it, the harm reduction, which means I can go to just a back pickup. <laughs> And sort of get that jocko chirp and bark roll to the front get to just the front pickup got a very convincing p bass sound i mean really really spot on so um that part is great more or less i'm most of the time just running both pickups um in in equal balance mm -hmm. about the eq um it's three band and my bass is set up a little differently than the one that 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 you can get right now in, in that I have the bass at this position, this is mid and this is treble. Mm -hmm. And this is, uh, as you know, I'm telling you stuff you know, but anyway, this is shelf, frequency shelves, which is sort of changes the range in which the, the cut and boost works. And I would recommend to people, if you check these bases out or buy one, to really get the full picture if you boost, full boost or full cut, then you can really hear what the shelving is doing. Um, I don't often do much radical EQing. I, I, you know, it's all room dependent, situation dependent. So if I'm in, a, in an environment where I feel like I need a little more treble um, or a little more or a little more bottom, it's it's there. This preamp works spectacularly, and I can bring it in more or less most of the time. I'm pretty flat. A little bit of, of boosting going on, maybe a little cutting something. But uh, truthfully, the bass sounds so great flat that that is 90% of what I do. You know? So overall, you're just loving the bass. Love the bass. I mean, like I said, it, it's it's a great finger sound. It's a great. Um, great yeah. slap sound. Um, it is incredibly light. And as I said earlier, that wouldn't be uh, that wouldn't be enough of a, of a selling point if it didn't sound like it does. Right. But um, it it is it is beautifully cool. balanced because of, uh, in spite of the weight thing. I thought maybe it would be neck heavy, but not at all. It just hangs like a dream. Yeah, you know, I'm so. glad we're yeah. glad we're glad that you're loving it. Man. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's great. Uh, so what are you doing uh, out in L.A. mainly? Well, I do live here. Um, I do record for people at my my little home studio. Oh. Uh, and I do, you know, like everybody, corporate gigs, uh, art, art gigs, meaning singer-songwriter, mm -hmm. some clubs, some this, some that, just a little bit of everything, man. Yeah. Uh, is there any way we could uh, contact you? Um, e any emails? I live on the west side. Just drive by. <laughs> um, no. Uh, 
<laughs> exactly. Uh, I don't have a website. I'm one of those guys who doesn't have a website, but I'm on Facebook. Let, look me up. My last name is K E I F. Dave Keefe. Dave Keefe. David, actually, on, on Facebook. Oh, yeah. And my email is um, uh, uh, slowdk at yahoo, and I'll make sure that that's spelled out somehow yeah. on the video here. Uh, so I'd love to hear from you guys. Just if you're interested in hearing about more about the base, I'm happy to answer questions. Uh, or if you already have one and you want to uh, say yay or yeah, you know, love it it's too. Fun. So yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, let me hear from you. So great, great base. I cannot recommend it highly enough. Um, and let me say this: the exotic company is so focused on the small details. Um, you know, every little nook and cranny has been attended to, and it's just it's their attention to the quality. And high craftsmanship is is spectacular, and I've been to the visit you guys over, not far from here, on a couple of occasions, and your customer service is as good as any customer service I've ever had on any instrument, product, or anything. So I applaud the company because they're doing great things. They're making great instruments, and uh, so thank you. Awesome, it's a, thank it's, you. It's a great, it's a great instrument. Cool, great. Thank yeah. you very much. All right, nice awesome. to see you again. Likewise. Yeah.